Alrighty, guys, it is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. And this is my Major League Baseball free pick video here today. Now, I'm currently 5-0 and my last five MLB tier package bets on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. And I'll explain the difference between what I do on my website and what I do here on YouTube in just a moment. Now, if you wish you could have been accessing those winners I just mentioned, your best bet is to join my full access, all-inclusive chairman package on that site. Chairman members get full access to every single personal play of mine, every single package, every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, guys, you also get access to my chairman podcast every single day as well. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my website. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side and total. What I do on my website is I actually share with you which one of these free plays on these videos that I'm actually betting on personally. And once again, guys, I'm 5-0, and my last five Major League Baseball tier package plays on that site. That Major League Baseball uh, package, it's a membership that I offer on patreon.com slash brockpage. And if you sign up for that package here today, you're going to get access to that membership for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to start off with the Mets-Tigers game one. And that'll be a 140 Eastern first pitch. New York's the $1.65 favorite on the road. Totals nine runs. Joey Lucchese for New York. Joey Wentz for Detroit. Now, Wentz is 0-3 with an ERA in the sixes. And even if he does pitch well here today, he's probably not going to get the run support he needs. The Tigers are averaging less than 3.3 runs a game. Uh, they're going to have to face Joey Lucchese, who's got a 219 ERA and a 1.05 whip. Now, New York's also a top 10 run producing team on the road. Pete Alonso leads the majors in homers, second in RBI. Meanwhile, Brandon Nimmo is hitting a team best 320 at the dish. Now, injury wise, Meadows and Carpenter are out for Detroit. When it comes to the total, Detroit 7-5 to the over at Comerica Park. Meanwhile, New York saw three out of their last four on the road get over the total themselves. Give me the Mets minus 165 over nine. Next game, D-backs, Rangers, 205 Eastern first pitch. Texas is minus a buck and a quarter, totals eight and a half. Andrew Heaney for the Rangers, no confirmed starter yet. For Arizona, but regardless of who throws out the first pitch, this Arizona pitching staff has certainly struggled. They're in the bottom five in the National League in runs allowed on the road. They're also striking out fewer batters on the road than any other club in the National League. Now they're facing a Texas team who leads the league in home scoring. Dallas Garcia's got a league best 30 RBI along with eight home runs. Meanwhile, Jonah Himes, the team leader in batting average. When it comes to the injury report, Seeger and Garver are still out for Texas. Corbin Carroll is questionable for Arizona. When it comes to the total, Arizona is 60% to the over in their road trips. Meanwhile, Texas has gone 11-5 to the over at Globe Life Field. Give me the Texas Rangers, minus a buck and a quarter, over eight and a half. Next game, Giants, Astros, 210 Eastern start time. Houston's minus a buck 70, total seven and a half. From Valdez for Houston, Logan Webb for San Francisco. Now, Webb's just 1-5 and five on the year with an ERA in the fours. The San Francisco pitching staff's also allowing more runs a game on the road than any other club in the National League. Now, they're facing a Houston lineup who uh, hasn't been striking out a whole lot at the dish this year. Mauricio Dubon's got the fewest strikeouts at the dish in the starting lineup. He's also the club leader in batting average. Meanwhile, Jordan Alvarez is fourth in the bigs in RBI. And even if the Strohs struggle at the dish, Frommer Valdez is on the bump, and he's been solid. He's got a 254 ERA and 37 strikeouts. Now, injury-wise, Brantley, Altuve, and McCormick are out for Houston. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, Crawford, Ruff, and Johnson are still out for them. When it comes to the total, San Fran 7-2 to the over in their last nine road games against the American League. Meanwhile, Houston's gone 65% to the over at Minute Maid Park. Give me Houston minus a buck 70, over seven and a half. 
Next ball game, Reds, Pods, 410 East. San Diego's 280, totals 9. Seth Lugo for San Diego. Luis Sessa for Cincinnati. Now, Sessa's just 1-3 and three with an ERA of 955. And even if Sessa throws well, we're looking at a bottom five run-producing team on the road. They're going to have to face Seth Lugo for the Padres, who's got a couple of wins on this season and an ERA in the threes. And in San Diego's last 10 meetings with Cincinnati, they averaged six runs a game. Xander Bogarts is hitting a team-high 304. Meanwhile, Nelson Cruz is the club leader and runs batted in. Now, injury-wise, Engel, Camposano, and Dahl are still out. Meanwhile, for Cincy, Votto and Myers are still out for them. When it comes to the total, four out of Cincy's last seven road games did fall under the total. Meanwhile, San Diego went 60% to the under in their last 10 themselves. Give me the Padres, minus one and a half, under nine. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final breakdown for the video. It's going to be in that Phillies-Dodgers game, 410 Eastern first pitch. Philadelphia's minus a buck 20, totals eight and a half. Aaron Nola for the Fightins, no confirmed starter yet for the Dodgers. But regardless of who starts for Los Angeles, they're currently on a four-game winning streak, and they scored 51 total runs in their last seven victories. Freddie Freeman's hitting 309. Max Muncy leads the majors and homers. Now they're facing Aaron Nola on the other side of things for Philadelphia. And he has a couple of losses and a 446 ERA. Now, the Phils also have double-digit losses on the road already, and they're currently a bottom-10 run-producing team away from their home field. Now, injury-wise, Chris, uh, Christian Pache, he is out for Philly. J.D. Martinez on the 10-day IL for Los Angeles. When it comes to the scoring, the Dodgers are 60% to the over for the entire season. Meanwhile, Philadelphia saw four out of their last five road games against National League opponents get over the total. Give me the Dodgers plus a dollar over eight and a half. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Give me the New York Mets minus 165 over nine runs in game one. Texas Rangers minus a buck and a quarter over eight and a half. Houston Astros minus 170 over seven and a half runs. I'm 5-0 and oh, my last five Major League Baseball tier package bets on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. And the good news is I have another MLB tier package bet going off here today. Give me San Diego minus one and a half under nine. LA Dodgers plus a dollar over eight and a half. Atlanta Braves minus 135 over eight runs. New York Mets minus one and a half under eight and a hook in game two. Pittsburgh Pirates plus one and a half over seven. Chicago Cubs minus one and a half over eight. New York Yankees, plus a buck 15, under seven and a half. Minnesota Twins, plus 105, over eight runs. Boston Red Sox, plus one and a half, over nine and a half runs. Baltimore, minus 155, under nine. LA Angels, minus 135, under eight. Colorado Rockies, plus a dollar, over 12 runs. With my next and final free pick for the video, give me Seattle, minus 165, over eight runs.